Welcome aboard the Read Me a Story Dad podcast, where dreams take flight, laughter reigns supreme, and there's magic in every page. Let's dive into today's wonderful tale together, starting right now. Welcome to Read Me a Story Dad, where there's a father's love in every page. My name is Brent, and today we'll be reading There's No Such Thing as Monsters by Steve Smallman, Little Tiger Press, 2009. I've got my own bedroom. I'm so big now, saying Little Bear excitedly. Big Bear was excited too. He had his own bedroom all to himself at last. Off to bed, does he head, chuckled Big Bear. Little Bear snuggled down and tried to go to sleep, but he couldn't. Everything felt different. The dark seemed so much darker without Big Bear there. Then, as Little Bear peered into the shadows, he saw... A monster! A big, scaly monster! All covered in spines, watching, waiting, and ready to pounce. Big Bear! Big Bear! cried Little Bear. There's a spiky monster in my room, and it's coming to get me! Big Bear rushed in and turned on the light. But there wasn't a monster, just a floppy old toy on the back of a chair. Big Bear put on his head and did a silly spiky monster dance. Don't be a scaredy bear. Shadows can't hurt you, he said. Little Bear snuggled down and tried to go to sleep. It was just too quiet without Big Bear there. He tried humming a little song to keep him keep the quiet out. Then he thought, what if there's something under my bed? Something that's keeping very still. Shoom. He wiggled nervously over to the edge and peeked underneath and saw. A monster's tail. Big Bear, Big Bear, squealed Little Bear. There's a slimy monster under my bed, and it's going to eat me. Big Bear rushed in and dove under the bed. But there wasn't a monster, just a stinky old sock. Big Bear put put his hand in the sock and made stinky sock monster noises. Then he bundled Little Bear back into bed. Night, night, don't let those bed socks bite, chuckled Big Bear. Little Bear snuggled down and tried to go to sleep, but he felt lost in the middle of this big new bed. It was just too lonely without Big Bear there. Little Bear's lips started to wobble, and he just about cried when he heard footsteps coming closer. Tip. The door slowly opened. It was Big Bear. There's no need to be frightened, Little Bear, he said. But I don't like being all on my own, sniffled Little Bear. Don't worry, said Big Bear. I brought you old Hoppity to keep you company. He tucked his favorite tattered toy into bed with Little Bear. Now you won't feel so scared, he said. Silly little bear, chuckled Big Bear as he went back to bed, frightened of monsters. Big Bear snuggled down in his bed and tried to go to sleep, but he couldn't. His bedroom seemed so empty without Little Bear there. Big Bear lay in the dark, humming a little song to keep the quiet out. Just then he heard a noise, a growly, snuffling noise. It was coming from Little Bear's room. Snarful snorts. Oh no, thought Big Bear. Maybe there really is a stinky sock monster under the bed and it wants Little Bear for supper. Big Bear raced down the hallway as the noises got louder and louder. Snarful, snarful, snort, snort. I'll save you, Little Bear, he cried, pushing open the door. There wasn't a stinky sock monster. Just a small bear, fast asleep, and snoring loudly. 
in the growly, snuffly way that little bears do. The end. I hope you enjoyed There's No Such Thing as Monsters by Steve Smallman. Remember, you are loved. You are extraordinary. You are more than enough.